today starts something new. I'll meet you back at the house. Good morning. Hi guys, so welcome to something new. Day one, moment one of the Badger vlog. I'm gonna do a daily vlog. My goal, a daily video for 365 days. I've been kicking this around for a while. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, but let's get started. Morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Yeah, that's just my version of a vlog, the Badger vlog. Anyway, something new I'm trying. I'm going to do it for the next 365 days. It's still early here. I just got back from my ride. Everybody in the house is sleeping. So I'm out here having a cup of coffee and uh, figuring out how this is all gonna work because I've had the idea for a while. Um, I just hadn't implemented it. And uh, like everything in life, right? If you don't take action, then nothing ever happens. So here we go. All right, guys. So let me explain. Kind of, kind of go back to the beginning. We get lots of questions of, you know, how do we end up doing what we do for a living? Um, you know, what is support bikers? Um, who are the badgers in the biker lifestyle? And, uh, you know, what events and all we've got going on. So this vlog will take you basically through a year of our life. Um, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs. And I'll be honest, guys, I do a lot of videos. Um, if you've been on our YouTube, on our Facebook or anything. Um, I have put this video off like all day um, because I'm really nervous about doing this. Um, I realize it's going to be hard to do, but I don't know why. The, this video and the starting this 365 day mission really has me like freaking out a little bit. Anyway, so anyway, we moved. Can I say anyway any more times? All right. We moved from Missouri, I don't know, like nine, ten years ago. I don't even know what year it was. Let's, let's ask Ange. Hey, why is it so dark in here? <laughs> So I can't see you. All right. <laughs> what year did we move to Florida? 2013. Okay. Thanks. All right. I knew she would know. Anyway, so we moved here 2013, basically nine years ago. Um, I moved here without a motorcycle with two not even teenage girls um, and no clue in life what I was going to do other than I wanted to live in Florida. And uh, at the time I owned a credit card processing company uh, I had for 10 years. I moved to Florida and literally like a year after moving here, I went to work for Harley Davidson, um, the local Harley Davidson dealership. And that is where all of this started. So I went from no motorcycle at that current time moving to a new place where I knew nobody um, to working at Harley Davidson. And I, you know what? I'd never owned a Harley Davidson motorcycle before I went to work for Harley Davidson. I owned Hondas and Yamahas and Kawasaki's and, and all the others, um, just never a Harley. Um, until I went to work for Harley and really started to get the feel for the culture, um, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, just the whole, speaking of Harleys, there goes one now, just the whole vibe that Harley had. The community um, was very unique. So I bought my, bought my first Harley um, when I was working at Harley Davidson. As you can see, I have a few of them now. Um, Mama Badger got her license. She started riding her own and it kind of progressed from there. When I was at Harley, I started a Facebook page, um, The Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle. And um, back then it was called Harley Davidson and the Biker Lifestyle. But anyway, I started this Facebook page because nobody at the dealership was really doing much on Facebook. And I was new, I wanted my own advantage. So I started this 
page and uh, I would take pictures of everybody that bought a bike with me. I would post it up there congratulating them. Um, the other point was I was on commission. So if you came in and you asked for me and I sold you a bike, I got paid. If you come in, saw my picture, came in and asked for somebody else, I didn't get paid. So that was part of my strategy. Mama Badger created the Badger logo here um, that I put a sticker on all my sold signs just to let everybody know who had sold the bike because I wanted you to come in and I wanted you to see me so that I could make the commission off the sale. Anyway, after a couple years of doing that, this is what I figured out. So I figured out that that job just wasn't for me. I was missing all of my kids' ball games. They were growing up and I wasn't around because um, I basically worked from open to close every day. And if you came in at five minutes to close and you said, hey, I want to buy a motorcycle, I stayed till you were done with that purchase. So that could be eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. I lived about an hour away from the dealership I was working at. So I was getting home really late. And even on my days off, if you came in to buy a motorcycle and I wasn't there, uh, I didn't get paid. So if you came in and asked for me and I wasn't there, they would call and ask me if I wanted to come in and make that sale. So I would come in on my day off so that I could make that sale because I had bills to pay, right? I needed to pay for my kids. Anyway, after two years of that, I got to meet a lot of great people in the community, which when we moved here, we knew nobody. Got to meet all of these bikers and just really loved the lifestyle just didn't want to work for Harley any longer. So I left Harley. Remember guys, a dream will only be a dream until you make it happen. See you tomorrow.